Okay, in case you're wondering what in the you know what am I tearing up now, what I'm doing here is modifying the new can gear for the Torrington thrust bearing that I mentioned when I put the cam in the block. And what I have to do is I have to mill cut this surface down to 250 thousandths, which is exactly one quarter of an inch. And as soon as I can find my depth mic, here it is. For a check that should have been my last cut. I, I got a step right here. I still need to move it in and blend it in with this surface right here, if you can see that step. But I just wanted to get my depth right first. And it looks like looks like I got six more thousands to go. Yep. I thought that was my final cut. I misread my mics. But lucky, uh, luckily, I didn't take enough instead of too much. When you don't take enough, you can fix it easy. When you take too much, you have to buy a new gear. At least that's what I would do if I did that. dead on it. Let's check all the way around for flatness, which I've already indicated in to make sure it was flat all the way around. Indicated the head in on the vise or, or the mill too. 250. 250. 250. It's good and flat. So it will run good and true. So now I need to touch off on this little ledge here. I'm going to take a cut. Then I'll measure this compared to that. And I'll know how much to move it in.
surface I cut, I'm getting, I'm trying to get this thing down on here flat, a little awkward. I'm getting, especially with everything in the way, and I, and I don't want to be in the way of the camera, so that I can video this. I'm getting one inch, 538. And the original surface I need to take it down to is one inch 500. I see the number. And in case you're wondering, this surface right here I'm getting ready to cut. I'm going to just blend it into the same diameter as the original, just by moving it in, not down. And that surface is not that critical. If I was out a thousandth or two, which I am not, uh, it wouldn't matter because all that does is slide inside of the torrent and bearing. The surface that matters is the surface I'm not cutting. Is this inner diameter that's, that fits over the pin on the cam and helps it run true. And I'm not touching that, so it's going to stay running true just like it would originally. Now this surface is kind of critical because what I'm doing is the uh, thrust bearing kit, the thrust bearing is thicker than the original thrust plate, so you got to give it that clearance so that when you bolt it down, it doesn't lock up against the thrust bearing. And that's why i got to do this. And the whole reason the thrust bearing kit is in there is just less friction. Needle bearings cause less friction than regular bearings or a thrust washer plate. So we need to go in. Let's see, it's 38,000 is too big. I gotta divide that by two. Thousands to go. Put the chain and all on. I'm going to go ahead and draw this bolt down on this thing. Make sure it turns okay. Be just right. Just want to hold this enough to snug it down good. That feels perfect. No wobble. I don't feel like feel hardly any end plate, but it's not binding. I'm sure if I put an indicator on I can feel a thousandth or two, which means it's, it's perfect. Now, before I put it on the engines for hopefully the last time, I decided to chuck it up. I made a little made a little mandrel out of a piece of all thread. doesn't run exactly perfectly true, but I just put it up like that, ran a nut under, on the underside of it, snugged it down, not too tight so we don't damage anything. I just polished it up with some uh, emery cloth and some Scotch-Brite. Wanted to get them uh, mill cutter marks off. 
and it didn't change my dimensions none whatsoever after I checked it with the depth mic. In case you're wondering about that, since it does rub this thrust surface, I tripped over that hose here. Since it does rub the thrust surface here, I decided I'd better clean that up some. So you can see where the old one rubbed it. It's just it's the way it's supposed to work. That's what keeps your cam from going back and forth. Just wanted to add that in before I start assembling this time and chaining gear. Okay, I didn't get it on film, but I went ahead and bolted my cam gear back on and set up an indicator and checked my in play and my run out. In play was around 10 thousandths. Now, this is a Ford Motorsport brand Torrington bearing kit. And I looked it up online. Their instructions say from four to six. I've got ten, but I've got the exact same amount that I had on the old gear. It had been on there since 2007, so I'm going to say ten will be fine. Uh, I think a stock one would allow it up to 13, meaning the, the regular thrust washer or whatever the thrust plate, thrust plate that is. So I'm going to go ahead and put the time machine on it, and I'm going to set up a uh, degree wheel and everything. I'll have to do my research. It's been so long since I've agreed to cam, I've forgotten every little detail about it. But I do I do believe that I had my cam sprocket set on two degrees advanced. Right here is zero. This is a seven degree sprocket. It goes two, four, six, eight degrees advanced or retarded. I believe to get the desired intake load center. If you want to know what exactly what that means, look it up. I don't know all I know is that's the, what you want to get when you degree it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on. Now I don't have this can sprocket driven all the way back. You have to kind of have to a certain point you have to kind of put them on. Together, slide them both back equally. And I need to drive that bottom one down a little more. I need to find something soft to hit it with. How about a dirty old piece of wood? We can blow the dirt off cobwebs and stuff. It's that way we won't be smashing on here, putting marks in it and all that. Let's see. I need to turn it here a little bit. That looks better. Good way to mess it up. Get it all the way flush against the back there. Find my boat, my washer. Believe it or not, it's right here. Looks like you've got it lined up pretty good. Hopefully I won't have to take that back off. I really wish I'd have made a verbal note when I tore it down. But I can't remember if I had it on zero or two degrees advanced. I think it was two degrees advanced. It would have been four because this cam has an odd intake center line. It's 102. Most race cams are like 104. Some are 106. Most street cams, street and strip, are like 106. I haven't torqued that yet. I have to look up the torque specs. Do that. We just make sure it rolls over good. And it does, of course. Big snug kind of chain. We're going to do, of course. Go all the way around. Check the tiny mark. Here comes my keyway. Passed it up. Pretty sure I got it lined up good. Yeah. 
Okay, so the torque specs for the 716 Vanover cam boat, which is what this is, is 65. We'll see how that works out. engine still. Also gotta hold this still. I can hold it there or not. Yep. Good enough. set everything up and degree the camera, check it and see if it's in the right place. 